Ba weep grana weep ninny bum. We are back. The brand new video here. And as many of you know who are basketball fans, the uh, NBA season, the 2024-25 season convened this evening uh, with a pair of games on uh, TNT this evening. The first being the Boston Celtics. Excuse me. Let me back up. The defending, the reigning defending NBA champion Boston Celtics are taking on the Knickerbockers of New York. And <clears throat> it was ring night, so the, so the Celtics got their rings, and there was all the ballyhoo pomp and circumstance surrounding that. And they responded by putting a 132-109 donkey kicking on the New York Knicks, and quite honestly, it was not that close. Um, the Celtics basically went from three point for the first three quarters anyway. They were just absolutely shooting a ridiculous percentage. Um, they hit, if you can believe it, 17 three-pointers in the first half alone. There were 17 of 32 um, from downtown. Um, and, and they ended up tying the all-time record of 29 threes in a game. Um, <clears throat> they ended up shooting like 29 of 61. Um, and really, this percentage is higher than that, but they went chasing the record. Um, for the, the last eight minutes of the, uh, the fourth quarter and proceeded to miss 13 straight threes. So you can imagine it was actually 29 or 48. I mean, they were just absolutely on fire uh, from downtown. Um, Jason Tatum led the way uh, with 36 points. What else did Mr. Tatum do today? He had 36. Uh, he had 36. Seven only one assist uh, in his 20. I'm sorry, that's Jalen Brown. I'm I'm looking at the wrong stat. Tatum had 10 assists um, and four rebounds at 37 points and was a plus 26 on the evening. Uh, Jalen Brown, whose stats I accidentally was looking at, at 23 points. Um, Tatum hit eight threes, like I said. Uh, JB hit five of nine from downtown and was seven of 18 overall from the floor. Um, I believe every Celtic starter was in double figures, which they were. Um, and uh, who came off the bench? Sam Hauser came off the bench for 10 points with the Celtics. The other starters, uh, Derek White had 24 points. Drew Holiday had 18. Uh, Big Al had 11. And so, I mean, everybody was just that, that was putting up shots were absolutely um, hitting them. And that's not to say, here's the crazy thing. The Knicks, so here's the thing. The Knicks as a team shot 55% from the floor. Um, and they were over 50% for the entirety of the game. They shot the basketball very well. Um, but in today's NBA, even if you shoot well and the team is just locked in like that from three-point land, it really doesn't matter um, what you do. Um, <clears throat> and I get it. Both teams were hitting shots, but if I'm a Celtics fan, I, may, I might be a little concerned about the defense that was played or the lack thereof. Um, they were able to uh, get away and, and, and find a lot of shots and hit some and get a lot of easy looks there. Um, it relates to Knicks. OG Anobi stuck up the joint. He was one of seven and just had four, three, no, four points and was a yikes, a negative 21. Uh, Jason Hart was 4 of 6 from the floor, uh, 0 of 2 from downtown for 12 points. Carl Anthony Towns making his regular season New York Knicks debut. Um, only took 9 shots. He hit 5 of them uh, for 12 points. Uh, he also had 7 rebounds and 3 assists, but he was a negative 18 on the evening. Uh, Mikael Bridges in his newly reconfigured, recalibrated, retooled, jump shot um scored 16 points um on 7 of 13 2 of 7 from downtown um to assist really no rebounds that's crazy 6 9 and no rebounds um and he was a staggering negative 33 on the evening jalen brunson led the way or <clears throat> for the starters anyway uh with 22 points on 9 of 14 from the floor, 1 of 2 from downtown. He 
was three of three from the charity stripe. Sorry, uh, two assists. I have more than that from a point guard. Um, no rebounds, and he was a negative 23 on the night. Uh, Miles McBride, as the new kids say, was on the heater tonight. And he was. He was absolutely on fire. Um, shot eight of ten from the floor, four of five from downtown for his 22 points. Uh, he was the leading scorer off the bench. Um, campaign also uh, trip, chipped in 11 points uh, as well. But really, I'm, I'm like I said, man, the team is just shooting the lights out like that. And not all of these were, were wide open shots. Some of these were contested. But once you get into a rhythm, the Celtics actually move the basketball uh, very well uh, in terms of giving up good shots to get great shots. And, and in these cases, with three pointers. So, I mean, for the for the night, in particular those first three quarters, man, they absolutely shot the cover off the basketball. So, uh, if you're a Knicks fan, at least from that standpoint, you tip your cap. You know, it's the NBA guys are going to make shots, um, especially when your your best two players are coming into the season with a lot to prove. Um, they are probably <laughs> trying to go on a, a kick-ass tour uh, this summer. I, I, <clears throat> I just can't wait until they play the Warriors. Nothing would warm my heart more is if Tatum and Brown both drop 40 apiece on the Warriors because I, I really think that it was just atrocious how Steve Kerr handled Jason Tatum. You know, please don't it don't tell me that it's matchups and all this. You can't say on one hand this dude was a first team All NBA guy, which means he's recognized as the five one of the five best players in the NBA, and you can make that by extension the world. But you're telling me you can't find a uh, uh, clock for this dude in the Olympics? It's ridiculous. And then Jalen Brown for for. Four, three of his other teammates, or four of his other teammates, to let's see, it was Tatum, Drew Holiday, Derek White. Am I leaving somebody else? Maybe it was three. Maybe it was just three. To be on the team, and then you don't make the team, like you don't even get a look. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really looking at Grant Hill in, in USA basketball with the sides of eyes because like, that whole situation is just not adding up to me. Something about that. Um, there's, there was something rotten in Denmark with that. So, and I would love to see them just kick the Warriors' ass when they play. Um, but we'll see. I, I, I haven't looked to see exactly when that game is. But didn't mean to get off on that tangent again. Boston starts their world championship reign with an emphatic 132 to 109 victory over the New York Knicks. Um, game one. So they're one and know in the books and uh, I'll be back with more videos uh, real soon and I tell you what if you like me doing these types of, of, of recaps um, I know they're a little on the brief side because once again I'm in my mobile studio just let me know and I will continue to put out as many of these as humanly possible um, just let me know and I will definitely do that but as always please uh, thank you once again for spending uh, a few moments with me and as always please 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 make sure to tell the ones that you love that you love them peace